Hello friends and welcome back to 3 in 1, Discovering Our Triune God. And this week at my house, we ran into a little bit of a problem. You see, we almost ran out of milk. And milk is one of our favorite things to drink in our family. And so when we had a grocery pickup scheduled for Thursday, by Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, we started to realize that the amount of milk we had just might not last long enough. We might have to go for part of the day without being able to drink any milk. And so I wonder, what are some of your favorite things, uh, things you love to eat or drink in your house with your family? Those all sound great. And for me, in the morning, there's nothing better than a package of breakfast bars. It's easy and it's yummy, and it goes really well with my hot cup of coffee. And so, whether it's milk, or my coffee, or breakfast bars, or other things in, in my pantry and my refrigerator, when they begin to run low, or when they run out, it doesn't feel very good. And, and I'm curious for you, when you begin to run out of things, when you see uh, the pantry running low or the, the refrigerator not having the things you like, how does it make you feel? Those are all very appropriate and understandable feelings. You know, because sometimes the things that we love and the things that we need, they begin to run low and we begin to get worried. But there's always good news for us that we can go get some more at the grocery store. But for some people, and especially the people in our Bible reading for today, that is not always the case. See, in 1 Kings, God was angry at his people, especially the kings of Israel, because they had stopped trusting him. And to help them see their sin and repent, he sent a severe famine on the land that came with a drought. And it was so dry that even the rivers and the streams were no longer flowing. And so God's prophet, Elijah, went to the town of Zarephath and met a widow gathering sticks at the city gate. And she was out gathering sticks so she could make one final fire in which to cook the last bit of her oil and the last bit of her flour into some cakes to eat one final meal with her son before they died. And Elijah was sad and the widow was sad, but God cares for this family in our Bible reading and provides for this family food to survive the drought and the famine. And then God did something even greater for this woman and her son. And what miracle is it that God performed for this family? How was it that they had food to eat all the way through the drought? And what miracle could possibly be better than providing food in the midst of a famine? Well, you and your family can read 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 8 through 20 this week and find out what God did through the prophet Elijah. And I pray that your time reading this story, talking about what happened, and working through the various activities and materials that are provided for your family this week, um, that it will be a blessing to you and your family as you learn about God's love and how God cared for those people in the scriptures and how God even cares for you today. Enjoy, have a great time, and I'll see you next time.